What's up guys? My name is Celeste and welcome to another vlog. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm like feeling really slow today. I have a little headache and I just took my migraine medicine. But anyway, so today we're gonna, uh, this weekend I work. So I'm gonna bring you along and show you how it is working the weekends. First of all, it, it's not fun. Um, but also, I just, I still do it. I don't work every weekend, but when I do, I just, I feel like it's a little easier at work. It's not as fast paced because um, sometimes the weekend, we're not discharging and admitting patients so much on the floor. Um, because a lot of people are waiting for procedures on Monday or like placement issues or acceptance or pending stuff, like blah, blah, blah. So usually the weekends is a little bit slower. Um, with that being said though, you get to miss social events and don't get to hang out with everybody that's off the weekend. So that sucks. But today I actually laid out, I didn't go to the gym. I went and tanned and laid out for about an hour was lovely. I feel like I did get a little tan. Um, I put my tanning oil on. It was really nice. But all morning I kind of had like a little headache just to linger. And it's driving me insane. Because I thought, okay, if I take a nap, it'll go away. It didn't go away. So I took my migraine medicine before it escalates. But I don't know. I just don't feel the best. Um, but I have everything packed and ready to go for work. I cannot find my glasses. I lost my glasses. So the last two days I have not been wearing my glasses. And it sucks. And I'm thinking maybe it's in my work jacket. I haven't seen them since I last worked. So I'm thinking they're in my jacket. I'm about to check. But um, yeah, I have an energy drink here. Of course, my Alani New. I really like this Kiwi Guava flavor. I made a protein shake, which I did eat like a salmon bagel, but I have this protein shake too because I have all my powdered supplements in there, so I need to drink it, but I just don't want to. We're going to try to make it to the gym tomorrow, but if I'm still feeling this way, I probably won't go. I'll probably just go home and sleep because I work tomorrow night too. So I think I charge tomorrow. Um... So let's see how tonight goes, and I'll just kind of bring you along for the ride, and yeah, let's go. I'm on my lunch break. It's like 1.30 in the morning. I typically don't take my lunch break this early, but I'm so hungry. It hasn't been a crazy night at all. Um, typically Saturday nights, we don't, I mean Saturdays, we don't discharge a lot of people. Um, like I said, the weekends are a little bit slower. And especially it's um Memorial Weekend, so yeah. But on Sundays we do wound care picture days. So this morning I have two patients that I need to take um pictures on. And yeah. But we'll see how the rest of the shifts go. But I didn't have a lot of meds. My patients are all pretty good. Um, all super nice. Um, I just have one patient who's in a lot of pain, so I'm trying to circulate, um, trying to manage that with different medicines, but other than that, everyone's sleeping okay. So, this is what I'm eating. So good. So, I'm about to devour this, and then I'll check in with y'all later. Okay, so it is 5.30. I finished my med pass this morning. I did my wound care pictures. And I'm just doing a bathroom break. I just chugged some water. I think I'm gonna eat a snack. And then yeah, everything's going good. I'm about to recheck patients' blood pressure and then finish charting my assessments and do my eyes and nose. Those are important. So I gotta do that and we will be done, so I'll check in with y'all when I'm clocking out. Okay, so I'm on my way to work, and I had the intention to go to the gym today. I just had, like, this little headache lingering, and I'm just like, mm. because, like, the staffing at the hospital this morning just gave me a headache. There was, like, a lot of going back and forth, and it hot mess. So I left because, um, I'm going to church tonight, and... 
Let's try to make some choice on our checkers. It sounds so good. I'm so excited. So let's put that real quick in there. Let's go. actually got tortillas, <laughs> some salsa, and some uh, paper plates because I was running out. All right. Okay, so I finished making my taco. Boom. There's some... Actually, I might be able to eat two tacos. This is beautiful. Yeah, I'll have enough for two tacos. Okay. So I showered, I did not wash my hair. I'm gonna wash it Monday. And let's get a spoon. Oh, where's the spoon? Okay, and we're gonna get a little bit of the salsa. Drizzle it, Oop, just a little bit more because I really like salsa on my tacos. All right, and is my meal. I have some orange juice as well. I already made the house cold. I'm going to get to foam roll before I lay down because my back is killing me. And it's not because like, oh, it's hurting because, what is this? Oh no. Okay. Anyways, it's not hurting because, um, like I lifted or bent wrong or anything like I worked out my back last on Friday and I went ham and I'm just so sore that I feel like rolling it out is just gonna make me feel a little bit better and kind of release some of that tension I have um so I'm gonna do my back real quick I got this years ago from TJ Maxx they have them on Amazon like these things are great um for you know your muscles if you uh work out quite a bit so let's do that nine o'clock on the dot i'm ready to go to sleep we'll wake up around five and get ready for one more shift and then we have a day off so let's go all right good morning for me but it's like five o'clock we're gonna get ready um i'm trying to get up a little earlier because i have to charge so i want to go and my report and situated first, but oh, I felt like I slept forever. Like, I kept waking up thinking, did I ever sleep? I felt like I'm like, I should be up already, you know what I'm saying? So, I woke up at like two and then I woke up at three, then four. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been waking up, but I slept really good. I don't have a headache anymore. So, I'm gonna braid my hair, get this out of my face. And yeah, let's get ready really quick. Um, I think I want to stop and get Starbucks today. <laughs> I haven't had Starbucks in so long. I've been, yeah, I haven't had Starbucks in so long. So I think a coffee sounds good today. I don't really feel like drinking an energy drink. So let's hurry so we can get some Starbucks. Okay, I did one braid. I'm gonna do another. You hear the dryer going? That's my trying to get my um my scrubs like some of the wrinkles out what you do you do to me play my emotions like a pair of puppet strings did it ever occur to you my heart's more than a toy please go easy on me baby send message after message forward my call Next day you hit me back like nothing happened at all What about all the things you used to say to me? This ain't the way it's supposed to be And you know I would Sometimes if I mess up a lot, I can do a combine and have it all like that That would look cute too This way, it's just out of my face in general. I'm joining the 
take the braids out. Yep, I'm gonna take the braids out. That looks crazy. <laughs> We're gonna take this out. I have a hair appointment in July, and I'm gonna cut my hair short and do blonde, go back more blonde. Because I was looking at my old pictures, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I miss my blonde hair. Like, so much. So, I'm definitely going to add more blonde. I'm not going to be, like, fully blonde at first, but I don't know where my journey will be. But we're going to add blonde and go a little shorter. I just feel like I haven't had short hair in a long time. Let's put this part up. So... I just kind of want to try it. I was looking at pictures and I was showing my fiance. I was like, look at these short hair girls, like, or their hair, like, he's like, you should do it. He's like, so, and if I get kind of tired of it after a while, I'll just get um, extensions put in. Because my hair lady has extensions now, so. Okay, that doesn't look bad. Uh, it kind of looks bad, whatever. So my husband is so crazy. And my head is starting to hurt because it was just like non-stop. All this stuff is happening. Thankfully I had a resource nurse. I have like nurses and enough techs like we're a staff that missions and trying to get all the doctors and talking and like verifying orders and all this stuff. It's just like oh It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and I've read through all the charts, I did all the paperwork that I needed to do, made the assignment already for the morning, so hopefully no call-ins or assignment changes, and yeah, we're ahead of the game, but I'm exhausted. Okay, oh my gosh. I'm so happy to be off. It's Monday, it's about 7.50, and I'm so tired. <laughs> but I'm feeling okay. I think we're gonna go try to get a workout in, because I know later on I'm not gonna wake up early enough to go work out. I just know I'm not. And I just wanna wake up and go see my fiance, <laughs> to be honest. So I think we're gonna go to the gym and then probably stop at the grocery store, and I need to put gas, so things I want to get done today because I only have today off and then I'm back to work Tuesday Wednesdays so we need to get some food some snacks and yeah so let's go do that and yeah last night was pretty busy a little hectic I would say I feel like we all called so many doctors last night and no one was answering which I understand it's the weekend well I, I understand but I don't understand like you're still on call like you still have patients that need 24 7 care so that was a bummer um trying to get a hold of some of these doctors but um yeah it's memorial day now so I feel like today is gonna be a slower day um you know, dealing with staffing today, you know, we had two nurses call in, so that was unfortunate, um, but it happened, so, um, yeah, but I didn't have an extra nurse, like a resource nurse, we, you know, charge seven nurses, uh, six patients each, but we had four techs, so that was good, so day shift, um, was solid, um, so yeah, let's go to the gym, I made it to the gym, I'm charging my phone and my fast charger real quick before I go in, but it's 8.20. Um, I think I'm going to work out legs, but um, one thing I did want to talk about, um, you know, I try to be pretty observant, um, I, so I charged last night, and you know, this nurse um, kind of had an, I would say unfair assignment. We only had two video monitors. 
uh, for high for risk patients on the unit and she had both of them um, and they kept her busy yesterday she had a really rough shift and you know when sometimes that happens and it was it's sometimes it's overlooked right or you know uh, things happen and I don't know some sometimes unfair assignments happen too um, but it's definitely important for you to advocate for yourself. So I, she never told me anything like, Hey, tomorrow, you know, can we maybe disperse them a little bit? Um, cause you know, I had a really rough shift and, and, um, it, you know, you catch my drift, right? So she didn't say anything, but she had told the nurse, you know, and she's so sweet. She's so sweet. Doesn't complain. She's like a great nurse and, you know, didn't say anything, told the nurse, you know, like, Hey, yeah, I had a really rough shift. Like they kept me busy. Like it was like one or the other like bed alarms you know everything going off all day so you know I took it about myself to change the assignment with on her even asking right you know um so she's like the first one to show up you know in the unit early rise and shine <laughs> and I told her hey and I pulled her aside and I told her you know I disperse these two patients um I you know want you to know it's okay to stick up for yourself in a very professional kind way you know um sometimes we notice the assignments and it's overlooked whatever you know um but please stick up for yourself and say hey you know i can we get rid of one or the other and kind of disperse them um because you know i had a really hard shift and and you know i without a doubt um knew that the charge nurses would be very understanding um and I think she really appreciated that because um, she was like, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you so much, Celeste. Like, you know, I really, really appreciate it. And, and we had a conversation about it. And, you know, it was a healthy. It was a healthy conversation between a charge nurse and a, and a nurse. And although I would say I'm not truly a charge nurse because I am an agency nurse, I'm doing it to fill in to help um, the unit um, with staffing needs. And... I don't have access for everything that they do. I do know how to do majority of the things, the paperwork and everything. Um, I just don't have access to everything, but I do what I can and I try to help as much as I can. And I've learned a lot and I actually do like charging. Um, although, you know, I'm agency and um, that's a staff role. So yeah, it's just a lot of learning and I just try to be as communicative as I can, even though sometimes those conversations are uncomfortable, especially working in healthcare when sometimes you feel like, you know, you don't have all the resources that you should um, because it is very tough. But if you can be there for your colleagues in any shape or form, <laughs> whether it's just giving them a simple high five or a pat on the back, like, hey, I noticed you've been working really hard and you've been doing a great job, you know, like those little things matter. Um, or even, you know, teaching and educating. I, I love doing all of that. And I'm just, that's one of the reasons why I still do bedside is because it's, it is, really is exhilarating in that aspect of, you know, being that role and leader that you want to be, you know? So as a new grad nurse, I mean, when I started working in the hospital, I was like, man, management, like this is really, really cool and something I'm into and interested in. And I had originally thought I would go and get my master's in, um, in management and leadership. And, uh, it shortly changed because the unit I was on, I mean, it didn't have the best communication and relationships among each other and with the management and directors came and go really fast. And it just, wasn't you know the most healthiest um environment it could be but not to say that that's not possible and um you know i love the unit i work on now and i, I love the staff and i get along with everybody and um especially my night shift nurses those <laughs> that those are my girls and guys and they work really hard and we have a great team team effort and work and um to have them, you know, even say the kindest things to me or, you know, uh, means a lot. And so, um, to me, transition from a new grad myself into thinking like leadership and management is something that I would look into, but and being offered a CNC position at my old job, but not taking it because I just didn't think it was safe and it wasn't, um, at that time, but you know, going to agency and really going into different units and hospitals and, 
and seeing how you know environments can change and get better um although it's not always perfect and and nowhere is going to be perfect um but really learning and seeing great leaders and really um thriving to be that and feeling like I am, you know, really uh, evolving as a nurse. That's really awesome <laughs> for myself. Sorry, I'm kind of getting emotional because I don't think I've really talked about it before. But yeah, it's super cool. And I, I love it, honestly. Um, so, wow. Can you tell she's passionate about her um, nursing? You know, I make a lot of jokes and I like to be relatable and the nursing humor and everything. But I, I do love the profession. <laughs> I do. It's really awesome and I've met some great nurses along the way and I've learned a lot so and I just I keep learning every single day so super cool and yeah we're gonna finish this um and we're gonna hit the gym I just have a little bit left that I want to eat and eat the rest after my workout but I have to pee really bad so let's go I think my phone is charged now <laughs> going to HGV I'm gonna get ran over so I basically took a shower leaving the grocery store because it's pouring raining and I didn't bring an umbrella and I parked hella far. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, my workout was good. Um, I got some good groceries. I'll show you what I got when I get home. Okay, time to go home. <laughs> So this is a quick grocery haul that I did from H-E-B. As you can see, I stocked up on these Good Culture um, cottage cheese. I love the plain ones in my smoothies um, just because it does have a higher protein um, weight in it. <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. Um, so this one's still good. I love the strawberry, but um, has more sugar and like I said... Um, has less protein in it, but it's still very good. Got some greens. Um, I do love these. You already know. If you don't know, you know. Oats overnight. So I got like four of those. I did pick up some Febreze. I'm going to take one to work because it seems like we need some Febreze up on my room. Okay. Um, I'm just kidding. I'm for my room. Um, got some orange juice and almond milk. Uh, we got some mushrooms. <laughs> some rice and some like quinoa these uh protein <laughs> chips are actually really good so sometimes i just feel like eating chips and hot cheetos hurt my stomach so this is like a a little bit better alternative because it has protein in it that's what i told myself um i know it's still all bad um turkey bacon we got some chicken and some ground turkey and that's pretty much it so i'm ready to i need to wash dishes i'm so sorry ready to put this all up eat breakfast and go to sleep at four i've kind of just been or maybe like three something i laid down for a hot minute oh it's sunny up here. oh my gosh yes it's better oh my gosh my eyes though um i'm going to check the mail because i have not done that the last few days so yeah it's very bad it of me the last like hour and a half i like just cleaned and it was lovely. I swept, mopped, wiped everything down. Um, I kind of started seeing what I was going to take this weekend to Miami. I'm going to do a vlog on our Miami trip. It's going to be super fun. Um, so I kind of like trying to figure out outfits, things like that. So I think I got it pretty much handled, which is nice. Um, and yeah, I'm hang going to hang out with my fiance. I did make me a protein smoothie I'm going to drink real quick um it's literally just frozen berries cottage cheese the good culture brand and then one of the Alani new um short, strawberry shortcake uh, protein drinks you mix those three together and that's it um to me it tastes really good <laughs> so I like it a lot um so I'm gonna drink that and then yeah we are gonna just enjoy the rest of the 